Serving as the brain of any PC, the central processing unit, or the CPU, is one of the most important components to consider when buying or building a new desktop computer. Intel are undoubtedly the biggest player in this market, and in this buyer's guide, we'll provide an overview of the key Intel desktop CPU families, with suggestions of which to choose depending on your needs and usage, from simple web browsing right through to content creation and VR gaming. Another thing to consider when choosing the right CPU is making sure you choose a compatible motherboard. And we'll indicate this for each processor family as we go through them. Intel is constantly updating their product range, which could make it confusing to know if you're buying the latest and greatest version. The easiest way to tell is to look at the architecture the processor is. This essentially refers to the generation of that product, which you'll always find in the product description. And in this video, we'll highlight which is the latest architecture architecture for each processor family. To help customers pick an Intel processor, their chips are split into unique families whose characteristics best represent the budget, Celeron and Pentium, mid-range, Core i3 and Core i5, and high-end, Core i7 and Core i9. At the entry-level end of the scale are the Intel Celeron G-Series processors, which are priced from as little as £35, and these processors are best suited to light computing tasks, such as web browsing, online communication, streaming multimedia content and word processing. They typically offer dual-core CPU capabilities and work together with the included basic Intel HD graphics for a smooth visual experience. A big step up from Celeron is today's Intel Pentium processors, which are ideal for small, low-power desktops and for managing photos, staying in touch with friends, enjoying high-quality multimedia, creating and editing documents, as well as casual gaming. They're dual-core CPUs, but this time they support hyperthreading, which is a technology which allows a CPU to do more at once, giving them more performance than their Celeron cousins. Entering into the mid-range territory, the Intel Core i3 is a sizable step up from Pentium because these CPUs are quad-core. They offer a perfect solution for editing photos, creating videos, streaming 4K multimedia, multitasking and playing the latest games in VR, based on the latest 8-gen architecture and designed to slot into any Z370 motherboard. A superb mid-range choice would be the Core i5, which offers enough power for effortless multitasking, along with creating, editing and sharing 4K content and immersive experiences such as virtual reality. The latest i5 processors offer six cores, so will appeal to power users, compared to the previous generation i5s which were quad-core, so were much slower. And if you're looking to overclock, which makes games and applications run faster, then look out for a K-series chip. This is indicated by a K on the end of the model number. Moving up to Core i7, and this is a go-to solution for enthusiasts seeking unprecedented speed and responsiveness. In many ways, the i7 is the best all-round processor to date, and this is a chip for those who want to create and play with stunning 4K visuals on a PC that can do it all. Core i7s provide excellent performance in all types of applications and games. Core i7 processors feature hyper-threading as standard, giving them more performance than i5s. And again, if you're looking to overclock, then look out for a K-series chip. Now, if you regularly juggle multiple CPU-intensive workloads at the same time, such as rendering 4K video whilst crunching numbers and competing with thousands in online games, then the top of the range Core i9 is for you. It's the new kid on the block, and the Core i9 CPUs are available with up to 18 cores. Hyper-threading comes as standard, and they also support more memory and graphics cards than Core i7 CPUs, making them a great choice for content creation workstations. All Core i9s are overclockable. And if you're still not sure which Intel CPU is right for you, this table should help as it shows the key characteristics rated out of 10 of the main processor families. Well, we hope you found this buyer's guide helpful. Don't hesitate, though, to speak to one of our friendly advisors for more advice if you've still got any questions on how to select the perfect CPU for your needs. And keep your eyes peeled for the other helpful videos in our how-to guides and shop the range of CPUs at scan.co.uk.